Hi, Gary Brown from Tackle Tactics again. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, it's so simple, this rig, there's not a lot to it, right? It's called a strip of bait on a single hook. So a hook and a strip of bait. Here, I have some bait from Tui, right? It's some striped tuna fillet, which I'm going to use when I go out with a mate of mine. I'm going to cut it with a 7 inch right, tackle tactics knife and explain why and how I do it. Now this particular piece of fillet has been in the fridge, sorry, the freezer right, for quite a while but you'll notice that very flexible. And why is that? And I've just taken it out of the freezer. Right. Is it salted? Now you can buy the stuff salted right, or you can salt it yourself. But that'll be another video that I'll do another day. So, how do we cut the strip? Right. A lot of people will cut their strips and I'll show you how they do it. Now I'm not saying that this is wrong, but it's not how I do it. This is that they'll cut it in that shape. Right, so it's parallel down there. And also they leave it, and you see how it's nice and thick in the middle, right, stick in the middle and thin on either end. I prefer not to do it that way, because what a lot of people do is they tend to, when they put the strip on, they bury the hook. I need to have the hook point out and that bark, because that's the thing that catches the fish. So the way that I do it, is when I cut I don't cut it parallel, I cut it so that it's fat down here or wider down here, not fat but wider down here and thinner up here. This is one of the ways I do it and then where this is thick in the middle, I trim it off. What do I do with this pit that's left out? That's burly. Right, throw it in, don't waste it. And then what I need is that the strip that's that long, right, for a size hook that's like this, I want the hook and the hook point to be able to come out on the fleshy side down here, not the skin side. So I need to have it so that the hook sits in like so. We'll get it right. So it sits and the hook points out like that. Now if you throw this out, that's just going to sit, that's going to go all over the place, it's going to go round and round and round and round in circles. So what I do is the half inch. If you don't know how to do a half inch, go and YouTube it. Very simple. So you put one half hitch down near the eye of the hook, do another half hitch up a little bit further, another one up a bit further, and then one that's just near the tip. So there you have your bait, right, sits nice and straight. How good is that? So what you've got is you've got the hook point has gone through the skin and come out on the fleshy side. That is quite a long bait. Onto that I could have a running ball sinker go down on to the top. It could be one of the leaders that come off a paternoster rig 
right? It could be sitting under the bobby cork float where you have a swivel up here and you have a sinker on top of it. It could be unweighted like it is now. There's so many applications of where you can use this. You can not only float it or cast it out unweighted or cast it out with a weight on it, but you could drift with this as well. As it goes through the water or it bounces over the bottom and stuff like that, it, because it's got a narrow end down here, hence is why it gets stag less. Remember that this is a piece of salted striped tuna, which I brought from the tackle shop. And I cut my baits so that they're like that compared to something that's like that. So there you have it, as I said to you, simple reef.